today I got a call for a big walk-in cooler on the curbside at our favorite grocery store that I can't name. You can hear the unit clicking, running about 55 degrees in there. We've got four evaporators, looks like maybe two different condensers based on what I'm seeing here. Looks like it's not on a rack, but I'm guessing. Have to go up on the roof and see what we can figure out. So then once you get up to the roof access way up there, you gotta come down off this little ladder down to this little subroof over here and you can see these these two big condensers here. It's running. It's discharging pretty warm air. Seems like it's running pretty nice. Now this other one over here, this one's not running. Now since all I brought with me was this little screwdriver here because I never get my tools out at first. Oh, we got a trip breaker. Uh oh. Oh man, that's not a good sign, you know? That's, ooh, that's a bad sign. All right, we gotta go get our tools. I'm not just gonna reset that. We go get our tools. So let's see what voltage we're working with. Two twelve, two twelve, dead, 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 dead to ground, dead to ground, dead to ground. Now I want to check for a short to ground. Point five ohms. Have you a gander if you can? These do not look good at all. Could have been single phase in the compressor because our windings seem okay, you know what I mean? So, looks like we just need a little bit of, little bit of maintenance here. I'm gonna change the contact to make sure everything good and tight. All right, I got me the DP340-240 from United, and it is Made by Univer International, not Universal, International Refrigeration Products. Okay? American made. Yes, sir. Made in the good old U.S. of A. So, I do this you know, one wire at a time. Oh, yeah, make sure your power's off up there before you start playing around with these wires. Don't let any little little strings of wire hang out from your terminal also. That's not good practice. I do not advise of that. God, it's kind of cold out tonight. We had this uh, cold front come through Texas and uh, God, this morning was 46. Can you believe that? Crazy, man, it's crazy. So once I get one side done, then I can, I like to you know, come in 
Oh, when you're doing this also, be mindful of where your coil terminals are. In this case, my wires leads for the coil are coming in through the top, so I want to mount this to the top. Because it's a pain in the ass to, you know, have to undo those, those three wires I just did. These contactors have, you've got to re remove the, well, I don't think you got to remove both of them actually. I think you can just loosen them and they, they can slip them right back down in where they belong. Yep. Okay. Now that's, that's control power. I'm going to go ahead and shut these off. Yeah, because I don't want to get bit by 110 or whatever. Might be might be there you know might be something there it would bite me now in this case this is color coded black red blue from left to right so I can loosen this this contactor can completely all three wires at the same time and uh, and be good good to go We'll look at that a little closer in a little bit. So, let me see. I can put this. Uh, let's see if I can put this little screw back in here some. And then do what I just said pop the contactor in, sliding it from up to down. I can. You see that? Got it. I got it. You gotta be careful, you know, when your knuckles hit against that, cut you if you ain't paying attention and you let it cut you. Okay. No, I got something better than this stupid little multi screwdriver. Better. All your connections, your electrical connections, they gotta be good and tight, man. Otherwise, we'll have problems. And then the higher the current going through the wire, the more problems you'll have. Everything looks all right under there. Okay, I think the only thing I really need to do is make sure I don't have a short to ground on my uh, on my crankcase heater, which are these two right here. I believe I can just uh, do that. Let's see that, and we get 372 ohms. Nothing. I think crankcase heater is good. And make sure my make sure that my uh, my terminals here are tight. I think they are.
Okay. I'm good with that. Hopefully y'all are good with that. Let's see if we can get this bitch to start up. I don't know if any of you out there like the band Tool or a Perfect Circle or Lucifer. But I'm gonna go see them next month. Oh yeah. They're coming to the Woodlands, Texas. Uh, sometime middle of April, I think. And I'm gonna, uh, me and the wife are gonna go. Did y'all know Maynard James Keenan is uh, training Mike Tyson to box? Jake Paul? What y'all think? You think Jake Paul's gonna, you think he has a chance? I don't know, man. It's Mike Tyson. All right, so let's do this. Compressors on. Let's see here. 26.9. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Right, I think we're good. Well, y'all, I think uh, the issue here was just um, a messed up contactor. Let's look at this thing a little closer. Shit. I tell you what, I got a better idea. That's how all of them are, okay? They're all like that or worse. So, bad contactor. Replace the contactor, check all the electrical connections over here in the compressor. Everything looks good. Verify the clear sight glass. We're gonna make sure that the, the walk-in cooler gets down to temperature like it's supposed to. Now we got both units, that one and that one running. All right, so as you can clearly see, my walk-in is 35 degrees. I don't know if y'all ever seen this before, but this is an air curtain. I don't know why they, why the, the nozzles point out in weird directions like that, but whatever. But look, this thing is not reading correctly because it's way off. So, you see that little, slot in the middle of the brass nut or screw or post whatever that can allow you to adjust this we're gonna adjust that so we're gonna set this probe right there and we're gonna let that sit in here we go up to the roof and close everything up all right well that's it it's all done contactors in job complete another night this time in College Station, Texas. Now we're back here. This thing's reading pretty close to what that therm thermometer's reading. 42. So. But that's not the temperature that it is in the deeper in the space, you know? This is because of this big, stupid door with no door. See, watch. I'm gonna take it. Thirty-seven. Okay. It is more like it. That's more like it, but I just don't want this thermometer saying forty-two. So I'm gonna take it down two degrees um, and that way I can show you guys how you do that but you only do that when it's appropriate now listen 
you can't do this when it's not appropriate to do this, okay? You pop off the glass or the plastic, okay? So then what you gotta do is, it kinda takes getting a feel for it, but you gotta hold the needle without letting it bend and turn the thing in the opposite direction that you're trying to make it change to. So like, 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 see, I made it go, that's too far, I don't want it to go that far. That's, I don't want it to go that far. I want it to say maybe uh, 40, you know? So, you go the other direction. all the footage you guys so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please subscribe like the video leave a comment if you'd like i like engaging with you guys conversation thanks for watching the videos you guys i'll see y'all later